What's the latest? Well, the latest is, again, a standoff at uh, the Polytechnic University just across the harbor from here uh, at the tip of Kowloon Peninsula there at Tsim Sao Tsui and the entrance to the Cross Harbor Tunnel, which has been closed for many days now uh, because of this standoff. And this morning at 5.30, uh, we got the beginnings of what was the police dispersal operation uh, where they tried to move in on the university where there are hundreds, maybe a thousand. The number of protesters is still debatable right now that are hardliners that are are still encamped or entrenched in the university campus. Surrounded is probably another better way to um, describe it by the police. And uh, they tried the dispersal operation. They were repelled by all accounts. And then they have also fired tear gas. Um, I mean, this is obviously just a standoff uh, that has no solution. Well, absolutely. And this is what we talk about, isn't it, all the time, Steve? That you know, this is a political problem with no political solution no. on the table. And, You've been talking to various people there about what's happening. Yeah. We're going to be talking to a pro-Beijing Democratic Alliance member, Holden Chow, in a little while. But yeah. you've been talking to others as well. Of course, we have to maintain balance by talking to both sides. Absolutely, we do. I mean, uh, you just have to look at the actions of the government and look at the actions of the protesters. And uh, the most recent comments coming from uh, the chief secretary, uh, he was saying, you know, more decisive measures are going to be at their disposal. Now, uh, does he, and he hasn't ruled out, uh, you know, further in so doubling. Down. Invoking of more of the emergency provisions ordinance, uh, which ones we don't necessarily know. We do know early, early this morning on a Facebook Live post uh, that the police were saying uh, if their, you know, dispersal operations were met with increased violence from the protesters, uh, they would not rule out the use of live ammunition. We do know that there were three rounds of live ammo fired this weekend. Nobody was hit this time, but it keeps on escalating, escalating with no. Clauses for de-escalation, if you will, if you want to put it in a technical term.